Hi friends, good evening. How are you? Hope all are fine. Welcome to Sam online class. This is Dr. Subrat Kumar Mahanti. Today we shall discuss about intermediate filament. The cytoskeleton is a structure that helps cells maintain their shape and internal organization. It also provides mechanical support that enables cells to play essential roles like cell division and cell movement. The cytoskeleton consists of three major components. These three components are microtubules, actin filaments and intermediate filament. Today we shall discuss about intermediate filament. The name intermediate filament has been given because its diameter is intermediate between the diameter of actin filament and that of microtubule. Intermediate filaments are not involved in cell movement. They play a structural role by providing mechanical strength to cells and tissues. And the intermediate filaments consist of a variety of proteins that are expressed in different types of cells. More than 50 intermediate filament proteins have been identified so far and these intermediate filament proteins are divided into six different groups on the basis of similarity in amino acid sequence. First group is type 1. Type 1 intermediate filament protein, it includes a group of ACD gelatin. About 15 type 1 intermediate filament proteins are there. These proteins are expressed in epithelial cell. Next, type 2 intermediate filament protein. This type includes a group of basic and neutral keratin. And the keratins can be divided into two different groups hard keratin and soft keratin. Hard keratin are the component of hair, nail and horn, whereas soft keratin are abundant in epithelial cell. In epithelial cell, at least one type of type 1 intermediate filament protein and one type of type 2 intermediate filament proteins are co, are co polymerized to form the intermediate filament. Then type 3 intermediate filament protein. Type 3 intermediate filament protein, it include vimentin, desmin and other. Vimentin is a type 3 intermediate filament protein that is expressed in fibroblast, white blood cells and smooth muscle cells. Another is desmin. Desmin is a type 3 intermediate filament protein that is specifically expressed in muscle cell where it connects the Z disc of individual contractile elements. Another type 3 intermediate filament protein is expressed in glial cell and the fourth one is expressed in neurons of peripheral nervous system. Next, type 4 intermediate filament protein. This includes various neurofilament proteins like NFL, NFM, NFH. L means light, M stands for medium, H stands for heavy. So type 4 intermediate filament protein it include neurofilament proteins that are NFL, NFM and NFH which are abundant in the axons of motor neuron. Another type 4 intermediate filament protein is internexin. Internexin is expressed at an earlier stage of neuron development prior to the expression of neurofilament proteins. Next, type 5 intermediate filament proteins. 
This group include nuclear lamins. Nuclear lamins are found in most eukaryotic cells and these nuclear lamins are the component of nuclear membrane. Then type 6 intermediate filament protein. Example is nestin. Nestin is expressed at even earlier stage during the development of neurons. Despite these differences in size and amino acid sequence, all intermediate filament proteins share a common structural organization. All of them have a central alpha helical rod domain that contain approximately 310 amino acids. The central alpha helical rod domain is flanked by carboxyl terminal and amino terminal domain. The central domain, the central alpha helical rod domain play a role in assembly of intermediate filament whereas the variable tail domain and head domain it determine the specific function. This is a single intermediate filament protein. This intermediate filament protein has a central alpha helical rod domain in which the number of amino acids vary from 310 to 350. The central alpha helical rod domain play an important role in filament assembly whereas this intermediate filament protein also has two terminus. This green colored part is the N terminus and red colored part is the C terminus. N terminus is also known as head domain. C terminus is known as tail domain. Both head domain and tail domain, they have variable size and structure that determine the specific function. Assembly of intermediate filament. Assembly of intermediate filament takes place in four stages. Stage 1. Stage 1 involves the formation of dimer. In stage 1, the central alpha helical rod domain of two intermediate filament proteins are wounded around each other to form a coil coil structure which is a dimer. Stage 2. In stage 2, these dimers are associated in a staggered antiparallel fashion to form a tetramer. Stage 3. In stage 3, these tetramers are assembled end to end to form protofilament. Stage 4. In stage 4, Approximately 8 protofilaments wound around each other to form a rope-like structure which is the intermediate filament. Both the ends of intermediate filaments are equivalent because they are assembled from antiparallel tetramer. They are also apolar because they don't have distinct plus and minus end. The intermediate filaments are generally stable, they don't exhibit dynamic behavior, but these intermediate filament proteins are frequently phosphorylated that regulate their assembly and disassembly within the cell. Friends, this is about intermediate filament. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, Sam Online Class. Also share your comments so that I will improve the contents. Thank you very much.